Hi everyone, Derek Hooper here. One of the things that I see players really struggle with is how do they start their downswing correctly. I see a lot of players want to use some upper body too early in the swing trying to generate club head speed, gets a club out of position so they can't hit the ball solid, gets the body sequence out of order so they can't generate maximum club head speed, and just really gets them into trouble. So today what I want to do is explain to you how to sequence your downswing correctly in this video is going to be the first of the two parts that I'm going to present and we're going to give you some drills that you can start to learn how the body is going to sequence correctly today start to introduce the arms and then when we get together next time for the second video in this series I'm going to show you how to introduce the club to that sequence and if you can get this working better you'll definitely generate more club head speed and hit the ball more solid so let's get started and I'll show you some body drills so we're talking about how to sequence your downswing correctly it doesn't matter what sport you're playing, but if it's a sport that you're trying to propel an object forward, there's definitely going to be a, a correct sequence that you want to move the body in. And it doesn't matter if you're going to throw a ball, swing a baseball bat, throw a javelin, throw a discus, or whether you're chopping down a tree, you're still going to move from the ground up and in that order in the downswing. So I want to show you some drills today that will help you get moving in that order. So the first drill we do is we take the club out of the equation, and the ball. All I want you to do is put the club across your shoulders and get forward into your golf posture. We're going to turn into the backswing and then from there I want you to just gently move your hip to the left. So again, backswing, gently move the hip to the left. And that is how you want to start your downswing. We're going to start from the ground up. By me moving my hip to the left, it increases the pressure on my left foot. So I'm getting over onto this side. The other thing that's happening you'll notice is my spine angle is increasing when I do that. So I set up at a dress and my, angle, my spine is angled slightly to the right. <coughs> Excuse me, I turn into the backswing and I maintain that angle. But when I shift that hip to the left slightly, my spine angle is increased. What that's going to do is affect how the club drops down on the swing plane, which I'll show you a little later. So first step, as we said, turn into the backswing, shift a little left. The key to this is making sure that when you make that move, the shoulders don't unwind. So what we don't want to see is this move. I need to see that separation. So the hip going left while the shoulders stay in place. Now once you can do that with some consistency, then we want to start introducing the arm. No club yet, but definitely want to put the arm into play. And I've got a chair out here that's going to help me do that. So what I want to do is take my golf position at my address position here. I'm going to set up with my left hand against the back of the chair so I'm in my normal address position. Put my right hand behind my back. I'm going to turn into my backswing. I'm going to make that little shift to the left with my hip. You'll notice my shoulders haven't moved. Spine angles increased. And then from there what I'm going to do is take my left hip and turn it over my left heel so that I get into an impact position that resembles this. Back of the hand hits the chair. My eyes are watching the back of the hand so that I maintain my spine angle. And now I'm in a much more athletic position at address. What we see with a lot of players is they get to here at the top of the backswing and then want to go this way. Eyes are ahead of the head of the hand, which would put them ahead of the club. Spine angle is tilted the wrong way. Nowhere near as strong, not as athletic, and the club is always off plane when they do that. So again, backswing, shift, turn, see the back of the hand. You want to be able to do those two drills with consistency before you then introduce the club. Next time we get together, I'm going to show you how to introduce the club to that, and then you can start hitting some balls.